So welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode 25 and we're kicking it off with some Artisan's Workshop. I'm just going to go through the ores that I've got in my bank. AFK through it. Currently 65 smithing. 1.5 mil to 80 so we can unlock that dearly beloved invention of course. It is quite far away for now but I think this episode I would quite like to focus more on PVMing. Because obviously we can do Queen Black Dragon now. We're already doing hell work quite often, nearly like what two hours a day. Um, and then Zamrak, because I still need to finish off that garb and the boots and Zamrak's beer. But I am mainly focusing on hell work because I would quite like to get tier 85 1. I think it would massively help my account and allow me to do QBD and like Zamrak more easily. And it would just be nice to have in the future anyway. Queen Black Dragon, what's that at? I haven't really been there for a while. We've just been getting the hell of Reapers. 38. Oh. Oh, I didn't realise it was that high but a royal crossbow would also be very nice tier 80 and if um, I did start a or I would probably use the royal crossbow the royal dragon eyed set and then obviously we are quite close to overloads, we're not quite close, we're getting there I'm 86 herbal now hit 87 and today or tomorrow because um, I still need to do penguins but 4 mil till 94 which means we can do the banner boost up to overload so yeah it is quite far away but this episode you're going to see a lot more pvm and hopefully if not it's because we're not getting drops we're not just going to do pointless content for content you're having content when we got drops so another day has passed now and we are doing our three supreme jacket trades every single day uh, i'd just like to say that today the 22nd of june is the actual official day i finished college today was my last exam so i'm done got two months of summer just over two months um, minus the days I am away, but if we just hand this in now, that will be 87 herb law. Making very nice progress. Oh, replenishments. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we don't have that. Um, 87, yes, yeah, so we're making nice progress all the way up to overloads. Still going, and um, yeah, I'll just let you know that college is done, so you can see more content. Right, so because I have got. <coughs> <coughs> the more uh, spare time now that I have finished college for summer I finally decided that I'm going to go on a big quest grind starting off with the eyes of Glothry uh, because if I get the next one then I think it's like the path of Glothry and the prisoner um, I need it for the Tyran win like the elven uh, achievement diaries in order to get the quiver which is quite useful talking magic at speed that's quite nice um, but yeah we'll move on to I think it's path is it or prisoner? This is the one I want to do. Uh, get quite a lot of thieving and agility XP as well. Some nice XP from that. It must be the path from this as well. You can also access the poison waste slayer dungeon, which is where the warped tortoises are, and they are much better to camp for the tortoise shells in order to make um, war tortoises. So I'll get on with this quest now. This series is pretty annoying because of all these pentagon crystal number things but either way we are going to do them and i would like to aim for wild Gulf it sleeps as well in the long run um, 270 quest points we're currently on 204 so we've got a long way to and that is the path of glow free done now which gives us the actual access to the um like warped terror birds and war horses uh slayer dungeon we also got the crystal chime which if uh can add that to our two vault now uh, we also got the spirit tree over near that dungeon area anyway um, I might just keep on to these for the next quest <coughs> it's what I did with the last one I still had like three red ones or something and that helped out quite a lot uh, don't think we need this or this or these but we did get like what 30k strength xp uh, we didn't get any levels anyway but I think now I'll start prisoner of glow free hopefully I have got work in about an hour and a half so depends if this quest takes quite a lot well if it takes a while or not if not it should be fine so over the past few days we have still been doing our daily jack of trades um, we're still 87 herbal but 50k away and it is the end of the month uh, the 30th of June so I quickly just did my troll invasion stick down to herbal 59k and there we go that's 88 herbal or and uh, the level we need for our first extreme potion, so extreme attacks, and I think I can boost up to like extreme strength or defense, I can't quite remember. Uh, we still have got to do god statues, I'm pretty sure, yep. All the god statues, um, 
we won't get a level from that I don't think I could get a slayer but I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna do it in prayer um, so I'll go and do all those god statues and then do a few day challenges and then we should be able to um, well that's our monthly stun and we'll do it well I won't do it tomorrow I'll do um, uh, the what's it called the oyster and hopefully get our third age die so right there we are just AFK and Ops uh, while I am watching the new episode of Power uh, if you don't know what it is it's just a Netflix series it's pretty good I do like it but there we go 80 crafting we now have the requirement for the invention unlock but obviously we need 80 smith and still and we're only 66 so quite a way to go for that what else do we unlock oh the ornate ball we can need 80 mining or something um, that's so that I can upgrade it to get I think it's more tiers fast or just more XP from the tiers I've got either way you, it's better for tiers go fix which is quite nice uh, probably will just keep AK only because it is quite nice we do need a bit more harmonic dust I think and I think all the way up to 89 I'm pretty sure it's 89 for the crystal flex sandstone yeah, crystal flask and the potion flask is 89 crafting and then 81 mining so we need to get to like 90 anyway uh, for reaper necklace or whatever it is so we're gonna have to AFK here a lot more anyway so I don't really mind doing it especially when I'm watching stuff like Netflix so that is 80 crafting um, I think we're just gonna stay here for a bit before I go ahead and actually mine some of this soft clay because it is the if I'll hour and we'll quite like to make some um, urns Right, so that was the first Vindict task on the Iron Man. Uh, I got, what was it, like 14. I did solo all of it by myself. Uh, fucked up a few times, well, dying. Um, but yeah, we didn't get anything. Our 60 for Sans, we got 10 more points, 30 points total. What well, that is going to be 84 Slayer. It's amazing how many, oh shit, fuck. It's amazing how many levels we've actually got just from uh, Reaper assignments. But as well from this task, I did forget to record it, but we've got 88 defense which took us up to 120 degree combat and uh, yeah we just it's similar to hell where I can do about 3 or 4 a trip depending on how lucky I get with like, accuracy but it's not really that bad because I have got what more reputation in Vindictor anyway so the drop grant is a bit better than the hell where wand um, but we didn't get any lance today would be nice, gonna have to come here anyway a lot to get all the aftershock components from Zaros items anyway uh, but 21 with it, uh, I think it has just been reset, so I can go and get another reap task. So I'll go and do that and then um, do a few dailies and probably head off to bed. And then I'll see you in the morning. And well, I might either do what a bit more PVM or questing. Uh, not really figured out yet, depends what I feel like doing. And that is the prisoner of glow for quest done. I did say I would do it uh, quite a few days ago. It wasn't actually as bad as I remember. There is like a calculator on RuneScape Wiki. Um, you can use to figure out what you need for the machine, what you need to make. But for this quest, it is so easy. There's no combat. It doesn't take that long. And look at the levels you get. I mean, 77 agility, 68 room crafting, and 65 uh, even. So now with this, we now have the levels for the ritual of the Majora, obviously. Don't think I can do it just yet, we do need a few more quests and we'll double check that. We can do the Heaven Corso which is pretty nice. 65 Thieving, anything special from that? No, not really. 60 Room Crafting, probably nothing from that. That is quite a nice quest um, for the amount of XP you get. Like That was so easy, I, couldn't, I didn't actually understand how you got 60k agility from that. All you had to do was jump over a few ledges and what the fuck. <laughs> Right, so this is the Forgettable Tale of a Drunken Dwarf complete. It's not a very difficult quest, it does just take quite... Well, it takes to make because you have to stand around and wait for like hops to grow and then you have to go and brew them somewhere and you just have to stand around for about 15... 15 minutes each time, I mean, what, I've even got tired just <laughs> stood there waiting. Um, I don't know if we need these, I might just keep them in the bank, but the next one is a Forgettable Tale of a Chaos Dwarf. Or Forgiveness of a Chaos Dwarf in between a rock. And uh, basically, I want to do these quests um, so I can go camp for the dragon pickaxe. I think uh, it's about time I actually went and got that and then upgraded it into the crystal pickaxe. I can probably upgrade um, my hatchet as well into the crystal hatchets, but I'll probably do that at the same time. So I think it's about time I got on with these, but I might just go to Vindict for a while and um, try my luck at getting some. 
pieces or just working on my KC and uh, sorting out my reaper task. Right, so I was going to do between a rock, but I actually forgot there. There was, um, well, I needed to do the dwarf cannon. It doesn't take very long. It's just a pretty shitty quest. I mean, 750 crafting. Uh, something to get in an ammo mold or something. Guess that he can't give me that, but yep. Yeah, I'll go and do, where is it, between a rock? Yeah, I can do that all now. Four gold bars. Now I'm on Right, let's do that now. Right, so that is between a rock done, meaning that the only quest we have left for the dragon pickaxe. Grand is um forgiveness of a chaos dwarf, is it forget the tail? One of the other um what fifteen K from that marine pickaxe, just out that because we already have one of course. Uh do we need this again? Uh, we'll keep it in the bank for now. All it is is three gold bars anyway. But um, yeah, we'll move on to. There we go. That is forgiveness of a chaos dwarf complete. Meaning that we can go ahead now and camp in the chaos dwarf battlefield, and hopefully get that dragon pickaxe. Right. So as you can see in the well, my chat box here, we did just quickly do the C is easy tasks, meaning that we get the headband one. Uh, that's pretty much it to be honest that's really nice from the um, easy task but we'll go ahead and do the medium and then try I'm pretty sure I can do all the hards because then we get the enhanced select caliber uh, it heals 20% of your life points if you do the hards and then 40% if you do the elites but I don't think I can do the elites just yet um, so I just wanted to knock out a few of these achievement diaries and see what we can and can't do right so we did just finish off all the medium tasks for seeds village except I forgot that you need to do uh, it's scorpion catch quest so I just quickly did that very fast and the bar crawl thing I don't know why I just put that on whoops um, and then if I talk to him something about enchanting the staff is that it? and he's got to see stankers right so we'll go and get our reward for the uh, medium one and um, I think for the hards we do have a few more levels to get like 76 fishing and very close to 80 fletching, uh, 80 cooking, so I might just AFK those levels. But I'll probably end uh, this episode here, it's quite long already. And um, in the next one, we can finish off these achievement diaries and get, knock off a few more, etc. More questing, just more questing diaries is what I sort of want to do for the moment while AFK in about an hour or two hours a day at uh, the care stores for Dragon Pickaxe. So I'll just leave my stats on the screen now. And compare it to the stats in the last episode um, let you uh, see the progress we've made a few more quest points of course don't think the total ever changed too much um, holy shit 58 defense that's because of um, the bar crawl like some of the drinks just massively deplete your stats it's so weird but if you just got stankers here we should be able to get that why is it the headband too Wait, why can't I get it? What have I done wrong? Oh, I have to go and get it out the bank and then replace it. Right, one sec, I'll be right back. Right, so this uh, well, this time we do have the uh, headband in the inventory, so if we go and talk to him about the task system. Right, there we go. Uh, I think, what, I can put more coal in a truck and more flax. Uh, pretty sure that's just about it. More XP from cutting maples or something like that. Uh, dog just barking in the background there. If you stick that in her block, cost 5k. So they are the end stats for this episode. In the next one, I think I'm going to start it off with a raid. I've got raids in like an hour or so. So in the meantime, well, in the meantime, I might be fishing or cooking to be honest. I'm finished off daily. So that is what you'll see in the next episode. I'm trying to get out more videos because I do have more free time. Um, well, up until I think the 10th of July, I'm going on holiday for a week. So there'll be nothing for a week. Um, unless I can make that many gains I can have a few videos set up ready which is I'll try I'll figure it out um, gonna have to grind a lot in order to do that but if not then that's the gonna be the situation but just wanna keep questing keep doing the achievement diaries and um, yeah knocking down a bit of skill